It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the New York Jets, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Well, Brock, the fans were out and shouting J-E-T-S Jets well before the gates opened here. And now they fill the stands of MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going, find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Here's Thomas Morstead out for the opening kick. And away we go from East Rutherford. Here's Traymon Smith with the return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. So the Broncos offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. Bo Nix entered this league as a grown up. 61 college starts will do that for you. A ton of college experience. And Bo Nix is a facilitator. When he is at his best, that ball is in and out of his hands in an absolute hurry. If he were a point guard on a basketball team, he'd want to go up and down the court and get it out of his hands as quickly as he can. He's accurate, he's tough, he's experienced, and he's poised for this challenge of the NFL. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Play action with Nix. That one is caught left side of the field. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Nicks from the gun. Finds Mims. And they bring him down around the 34. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They'll throw again. Knicks. Mims with the grab. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. That one gains seven. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Nick's off to play action. Finding Reynolds. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal.
They'll look to run with Williams. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Broncos take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. Javante Williams, the touchdown. For the offense, you got to love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get out of the way, big time. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. So now it's the Jets getting that on offense for their opening drive. They're led out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. I think it's safe to say, Kate, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers may be one of the most polarizing figures in the NFL, but there is nobody, nobody that will question his ability to spin a football different than everybody else. Just ask his receivers, tight ends, running backs, anybody that's ever played with him. He elevates their game, and he often elevates his own game to an MVP kind of level. First down throw by Rodgers. That throw finds Coughlin. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Short pass caught by his tight end. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. First down, Rodgers. Able to find Corley. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's Brees Hall on the ground for the first time. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. First down, ball at the 36. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the sack. Into the hands of Garrett Wilson. And they make the stop, we're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play 
It works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. And the Broncos are in the nickel for this third down. From the shotgun, Rodgers. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And that brings up fourth and long. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. So the Jets are going to try a field goal on fourth down. And Greg Zerline headed out. From the left hash, 54 yards out. Distance is good, but not the accuracy. He just missed it left. And the deficit stays at seven. Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. So the Broncos headed out for their second drive of the game. And they take the field exactly where they want it to be, Brock. Off a touchdown early and with the home crowd a little quieter than normal. I'm not going to lie to you, Kate. I think most quarterbacks, competitors love playing on the road when they do just this. Just quiet them. Why right? turn them against their own team? They were quiet after that opening touchdown. You score another one, they're going to start to murmur, and we might even hear a few boo birds. On first and ten, here's Nix. As a man, that's Cortland Sutton. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. Throwing on first down, Nix. Quick hitter complete. And he's marked down, looks like at the 32-yard line. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. More for MetLife coming right up. We're back, and it is Broncos football as we resume. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. That one ends up a gain of six. And the Broncos will have a first down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. In motion right is Mims. It's caught. And he'll score. Touchdown, Denver. Broncos take a 13-0 lead. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Has this at the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The second drive coming up now for the Jets offense. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. They're out and set, first and ten. Rodgers here from the gun. It's caught, that's Mike Williams. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line.
After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 36. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. No connection on the last play, and out third down. To throw is Rogers. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Play action with Rogers. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Short side option here. He's running left. And he's brought down for a loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another hit at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. All right, here we go. Second down. Shotgun snap, a give to Hall. And tough sledding for him. Only room to get it to the 30. It's a gain of three after the loss, but still third and eight to work with. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Rogers throwing on third down. That's caught for the first. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. come up first and ten. They'll go right side with Hall. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Jets make it a one-score game in the first half. Grace Hall with the touchdown. Well, Brock, you found himself some space to work, and from there, wow, all athleticism as he made his way into the end zone. You got that right, Kate. Just that speed. You got to have some different gear when you get down here to the red zone. It's hard to score rushing touchdowns, and that running back sees the open space. He sees the green grass, and he finishes it off with six. Greg Zerline for the point after try. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Marvin Mims now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. They have played lights out on offense, scored their first two times out, Bronc. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. The drive will start out with a first and ten. 
Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is you put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Shotgun snap to Knicks. They'll touch him down a couple of yards away from that marker. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. And it's the Broncos. With it, third and two. Out of the gun, it's Nix. He has the first over the middle. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Nicks from the gun. Got Williams, and it's complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 27 on the play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he could do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They'll throw again. Knicks. And he'll score. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos grow their lead just before halftime. Three drives, three touchdowns. It has been wash, rinse, repeat for them offensively, Brock, as, well, we all wait for this defense final little backbone before this becomes a runaway. Yeah, I'm a little torn up here in this booth because you're exactly right. Offensively, this is just machine, surgical. Defensively, you're running the risk of being embarrassed here pretty quickly. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Xavier Gibson, now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Jets headed out on offense late in this first half. And we're down inside a minute to play in the half, but that's enough time to get a drive together. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Pressure comes. Rogers. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. Second and three now. To throw, Rodgers. That's brought in by Lazar. And he's able to move it past the 45 before going out. 
They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. New set of downs for him from the 46. To the air here on first down, Rogers. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Pat Sertan has it. And it's a touchdown as he brings it back for the pick six. Ooh, partner, Hiss has gotten out of hand early. And that pick six, the latest play, pushing us towards a blowout. Yeah, everything has gone in their favor so far. You don't see a lot of blowouts in the NFL. It takes this kind of combination, right, both in personnel and in every phase of the game. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. A quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. Returning it from the four. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. They take over on offense now pretty late in this first half. And losing by three scores, they'll have a final chance to take at least three off the deficit before halftime. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Rogers coming back after the pick. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Throwing on first down, Rodgers. And that catch is made down the right sideline. They get 40 on the big hitter. And it's good enough for a New York first down. You know, Kay, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Here's Rogers on first and ten. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, New York. The Jets chop some of the lead off before the half. Garrett Wilson with the touchdown. So an absolutely beautiful throw there, finding his man in space who turns it into six. Yeah, they really took advantage there, Kate, of some soft coverage. You want that on that corner route. Plenty of space for that route to develop. Great execution, and it pays off with the touchdown. Zerline on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Broncos taking the field for the final time in this first half. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, they have been perfect. Yeah, and in order for that to happen, somebody somewhere on this defense has got to rise to the occasion. Only 17 seconds left for them as they begin this drive. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. We have a timeout called by the Broncos. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. On first and ten, here's Nix. No place to go, so he just threw it away. Well, that's when you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Looking to throw. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. Here comes the final play of our first half. Running right, it's Williams. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. We've reached the midway point of this one, and the visiting Broncos taking a lead into that locker room. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Set to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. His return makes it up to the 25. So here's the Jets' offense getting ready to start our third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They start to drive with Hall. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. From the 29. It's taken in by Williams. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. First down throw by Rodgers. Throw complete to Williams. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. A 
Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. From the gun, it's Hall. Duke the defender. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Play fake. It's Rodgers. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators, when you get a nice run, right, you gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't. They call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with a sack. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Rodgers here from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity, and man, did he make an impact play. They're set up at the 35 now. First down, Rodgers. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Second down now, seven to go. From the 32, able to find Corley. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Throwing again, it's Rogers. Gonna fall incomplete. Either way, he was breaking it up. Couldn't hang on to the pick, so hits the ground, brings up fourth down. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Greg Zerline gonna try to knock this through for the Jets. It's on the left hash, 46 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll get him back to 11. Here in the third quarter, he gets a chance to make up for the miss on his first attempt of the game. This time, well, he is totally dialed in, and he gets this one to count. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Broncos headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Nick's to throw. Cut by Sutton. And they touch him down. Looks to be about four yards short of the six. After a good pickup, they've got second and four.
Out of the gun, it's Nix. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You're training a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you got to assume the ball's going his way. Mix with it on first. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Broncos will have a first down. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They'll throw again, Nix. And he's touched down about five yards shy of that first down marker. This is the end of the third quarter. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the fourth. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Completed to Sutton. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I love this, Kate. No issues at all going to this receiver in the short field because they know at any time when this man touches the ball, he can transform a short completion into a big play. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll run the toss for Williams. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Nicks from the gun. And he'll score. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos make it a three-score game in the fourth. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember, uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Rogers to throw. That one's incomplete. Couldn't connect. 
Man, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense cleanly. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Has his man, it's Corley. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And it'll give the Jets a first down. From the shotgun, Rodgers. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. And it's as we expected, partner. The call pass interference, so put it at the spot and give him that first down. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. Throwing from the gun here. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. They'll throw again, Rodgers. Put the body on the line for his team. It's a 21-yard gain, and it's good enough for a New York first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. And he's tackled for no gain. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Off the play fake, here's Rodgers. He's throwing deep to the left, intercepted in the end zone. Picked off, Brandon Jones. I know exactly what the quarterback was envisioning when he let that one go. Touchdown, baby. Not long after, I know exactly what he was thinking. Oh, no! Give me that one back, because the coverage baited him perfectly into that throw and even more so picked it off. The Broncos offense all set to go. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays have followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth and drive him to the ground with all you got. On second down, a run with Williams. And he'll get this up to the 29-yard line. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. Another run for Williams. 
Give him three on that game. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Win the early battle. Give them the leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Going to the ground again on first. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. They stay on the ground with Williams. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Three yards to pick up that time, and we have reached the two-minute warning. So now here's third and five. Straight ahead with Williams. Has the first and more past midfield. And he has this all the way across to the opposing 45. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Broncos will have a first down. Ask for a little bit more on that one. <laughs> Ask that running back to come up with more than he's used to on third down. And he made it look like just another day at the office. I wouldn't expect every conversion to go as smoothly. But he sure made that one look routine. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Now talk about a golden opportunity at an immediate first down following that encroachment flag. Running it after the penalty. And he's brought down after a short game. Call it two yards that time. Now just a few to go on second and three. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. And this is a game that proves every Pee Wee and Pop Warner and high school coach across the country correct, Brock. Teams who make fewer mistakes and turnovers are going to win a lot of football games. They kept the football, they forced a couple of turnovers, and that was a big part of the difference in this one. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.